You know, one of the good things about having a electric light standard is that because it's the low-end touring model, you can actually do just about anything you like. You can put on accessories and everything else. And one of the things that it's missing, and I just did, was to put on the Rockford Fosgate Bluetooth amplifier. Hello everyone, my name is Fletch and today I'm going to be doing uh, a little overview or review uh, of the Rockford Fosgate Bluetooth amplifier and speakers that I put on the Electroglide standard of mine. It's the low-end touring uh, machine that they produced by Harley Davidson. Lots of crows here, I don't know why. Uh, in anyway, so what I've done was I've gone ahead and installed the thing and I've had it for about a month or so and I've been and I even took it out to Desaru uh, which is about a 200 kilometer ride from Singapore all the way to Desaru Malaysia I'll put a link in the cards above uh, so that you can just check out that video which, which should have been out already since before this video has come out now the Rockford Fosgate amplifier comes with several bits of it of course and as you can see this being the electric light standard I don't have the boom box so I've actually replaced a little uh, glove box cover to place all my stuff in it. But what it does is it comes with uh, the amplifier. Uh, the amplifier is placed just in the fairing uh, roughly around here. In any case, this also actually is for the Road King and supposed to be mounted in the saddlebags uh, like so. But obviously I didn't do that because I have it placed in the fairing itself. In actual fact, what Harley Davidson has done is actually removed the FLHT off uh, the compatible list. I think they've only left the Road King, but I think if you take it to the master tech of your dealership, they should be able to work out something for you to be able to fit into the fairing and to be able to place it in your electric light standard or even your street light. So the couple, so with the amplifier in the fairing, now you have the speakers, which I've zoomed in here. Now the good thing about the speakers, as you can see, it comes with the woofer, which is a 6.5 inch uh, speaker. There is also a mid-range, as you can see here, and a tweeter. So what happens is that you actually get a full range of sound and sound quality coming from it. And because the amplifier is basically 120 watts, and this the speaker that's mounted inside is 4 ohms, and you should be able to drive just about any volume and at any speed you'll be able to hear music very clearly. An additional thing that doesn't come with the kit, I've added a Bluetooth a remote control from Rockford Fosgate as well, but this is in combination with the device that we use and in my case I'm using it with uh, my iPod which I'll show you the functions in just a bit. Right, so my device of choice is in this case the iPod. Uh, as you all know, this is the last of the iPods. They've stopped producing it in Apple. I use it because I don't want to drain the battery on my phone. Plus the fact it's, a, it's convenient and it's completely sold out. So I've got the last piece. Anyway, this is not a new piece. Uh, it's been, I got it when it first came out, or at least the last generation came out in uh, 2019. Anyway, there are a few things to take note of. Uh, first of all, you have to Bluetooth to two devices. One of it is the amplifier in the fairing and the other, of course, is the remote just over here. So if you look at the Bluetooth, I am now connected to the HD audio, as you can see, and of course the PMX BTUR, which is the remote control. So once that has been established, then you can actually launch the Harley Davidson audio app, and of course safety, uh, in this case, the uh, Electric Light Standard, just the Road King, which is fine. In any case, you have to launch this app. And in the app, you'll be able to indicate the high and low speeds in it. You can, there's also a seven band EQ, which you can do. I can't go into it at the moment because for whatever reason, it's asking for a firmware update, which I can't seem to be able to do at the moment. So I'll try and do some screenshots later on to show you uh, a little bit on the functions in any. I set the low point at 45 kilometers an hour and the maximum or maybe say 90% at 85 miles per hour. So if you use the app and you don't use the control, it would actually adjust. So when you stop, it should be able to lower the volume at stop signs rather than using the control. But in this case, since I'm using the remote control, it overrides that particular function anyway. So for the case of uh, this particular video, and I don't want to get a, a strike, I'm using music from Epidemic Sound. 
uh, you can actually get the link uh, and I'll put it link below in the description so that you know uh, that you can uh, support my channel by, by clicking on the link uh, it's not paid, I don't get paid for it anyway uh, it's just basically giving me a couple of months free if I want to but I'm paying for it anyway so it doesn't really matter, go for it if you don't want to get copyright strike, go to epidemicsound.com uh, and sign up and you should be all good right, once you've paired the um, to the audio system and to the remote control you can go ahead and press the, the play button on the remote in this case uh, otherwise if you don't have the remote then it will just start up automatically and you can control everything from the screen uh, as you can see it's set at about a, a quarter volume or a third of a volume so now all you need to do is press the, the play button as you can see here And a three-quarter volume, this is what it sounds like. You can actually lower it if you don't want to. And hopefully it sounds pretty clear. Obviously it can go much louder, but because it's stationary, then it would be a little bit tough uh, for me to be able to talk over it anyway. So, Anyway, this is music from Epidemic Sound and I'm playing it off my iPod. Right, that's a little demonstration on the sound and the sound quality plus uh, how it works with a little hiccup and so forth. But in any case, I'm going to take it out on the road right now so you get a chance to see what it's like at different speeds uh, so that you can hear the quality. And I'll also talk about my impressions of the Rockford Fosgate audio Bluetooth system with the Rockford Fosgate. Right, folks, I'm here uh, on the road and uh, what was supposed to be a sunny day has now turned a bit cloudy. In any case, the purpose of this particular ride and hopefully it'll be a not too long one uh, so that I can show you a little bit about the, the Rockford Force Gate and of course uh, my views and my thoughts on this particular uh, installment of uh, accessory that I've added to my motorcycle, the electric light standard. Uh, as you know, the electric light standard doesn't come with an infotainment system. Um, it's bare bones so that you can do exactly what I did, was to add a infotainment system, or in this case, a Bluetooth amplifier from Rockford Fosgate. Um, obviously, it is from uh, Harley Davidson because as you can see there's the logo uh, on the speaker grill which came with it um, the thing about the electric light standard is um, that it's meant to be the entry-level model for um, all the touring line and because uh, it's an entry-level it means that it doesn't come with uh, the infotainment system it's a lower displacement at a 107 instead of a 114 but you know you can always bump it up to a stage 2 and get the same kind of performance uh, and in this case I've added and what today's topic is uh, my review and overview of the Rockford Falls Gate um, right now the Rockford Falls Gate uh, can be controlled from the device directly or in my case I've added the Rockford Falls Gate uh, Bluetooth uh, remote control as you can see here the reason there's no music at the moment is because I haven't started it yet so I'm gonna hit the play button on the remote and right now it is just under half volume and hopefully the speakers can pick it up uh, not wanting to get a strike or a copyright strike all the music that you'll be hearing today will be from uh, Epidemic Sound. I picked a few songs that uh, I thought was pretty good. And you know, for a small price and subscription, you can actually have copyright free material on your YouTube channel. Okay, enough of that. Uh, so as you can see, uh, or oh, sorry, as you can hear, the music's playing. Uh, it is clear even in the full face helmet like mine like this um, and even though I can hear some wind sounds uh, in my helmet hopefully it doesn't get too bad and that you still could hear 
uh, the music as well. Profit Foskett has put a 120 watt amplifier in this particular setup. And of course the speakers are 4 ohms. That means you could basically do a little bit more. I'm running now at 80 kilometers an hour, which is way above the speed limit for this road. So I'm pumping it into half at the moment. As you can see, I just did that on my remote. And you should be able to hear, hopefully, the music clearly. Now, I, I've taken this up to Kesaru uh, one particular Sunday. Uh, it's actually across the border to from Malaysia, uh, from Singapore to Malaysia. And it was a good ride. We were clocking between 140 to 150 kilometers an hour. I'll put the equivalent uh, of miles per hour on the screen here because I can't really do the math. I'm really bad at math. So I'll just put it up on the screen anyway for you. I'm now doing 60 kilometers an hour, not very much. Uh, music should be pretty loud. Let's talk about cons first before we talk about pros. Now I know that the Bluetooth is pretty touch and go. Uh, um, right, I, I should be controlling everything from the app, uh, but for whatever reason, because I failed to do a firmware update, uh, they had, I had some connectivity issues earlier, but I uh, kind of sorted it out, um, as you can hear from the music now. Doing about 90 kilometers an hour, I'm going to raise the volume a little bit. So now just over half, and hopefully you can hear the music clearly. But then I come to a stop. Uh, if I relied on the app, then it should have gone down. But I'm still at you know just about half or above half so it tends to be a little bit loud now so I'm going to reduce the volume which is simple enough anyway and I'm also changing uh, the music so that we can hear the rest of it as well. Now, the first, like I mentioned, the first con was the Bluetooth connectivity, a little touch and go, but once you get it up and you've done the firmware updates and everything else, uh, I believe that it should be fine. Um, I don't see any issue with uh, the Bluetooth connectivity once you get it done. It's just a little bit uh, touchy in that sense. I'm not sure what this would, the, any Rockford Fosgate speakers on a Rogue Glide would be like. Uh, the good thing about the Street Glide are the fairings. And the fairings are such that we'll be able to block up most of the wind. And I should actually be hearing it clearly. So like I mentioned, when I did the long distance trip, we were tearing down the highway at about 150, and it was very clear. I was in communication with uh, the road captain, and he actually asked me, hey, you know, do you have to overlay your audio in the communicator? I said, no, you're listening to my music directly from my speakers. He said, oh my god, it's so clear. That's wonderful, right? So, right now I'm doing about 90. Without having getting without getting a ticket or anything else, I'll see if I can raise it to 100 or 110, and then push the volume up to maybe uh, just below three quarter to see what it sounds like. 70 kilometers an hour now. And I had to do a hard break because it was a red light. The other con, I think, which I think Rockford Fosgate, I wish, I hope that you're listening to this, uh, and Harley Davidson as well, is that I think a 7-band EQ doesn't really help. I mean, yeah, 
Now, as you can see, it's got uh, the main woofer, then you can see the tweeter, the bit range, and the tweeter. Uh, that's supposed to help a little bit, you know, um, get more clarity. It's very clear as for the based on what I can hear. But you don't have much uh, in terms of fidelity because of the 7-band EQ you can. If you do a 10 or 12-band EQ, I think it would be much better, I think. It would probably sound a little bit clearer. You can adjust for the bass and everything else so that you don't have to, you know, have inconsistent sound true. But I mean, it's not that it's totally inconsistent. It's just that, you know, for a person who loves music, listening to music, um, this would be a great thing to have quality sound as well. Now, I know a lot of you will be out there thinking that, hey, you know, if I'm going to be riding, I'm going to listen to the sound of the road and my exhaust and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, if you're traveling alone and you're doing countless of miles alone, the road and the wind starts to get a little bit boring, I think, you know, and I'm the sort of person that uh, would like to chill uh, with the music uh, on and everything else and be able to ride uh, I can concentrate still because I'm not listening like as if I'm sitting at home with a glass of whiskey and uh, my full-on stereo set but at the end of the day I am just listening to music to pass the time right and of course making the, the trip all the more enjoyable Pros, well, I think the sound quality is excellent. I think the uh, the output from it is really good. You got enough power that if you are traveling at say like this, 90 kilometers an hour, at uh, just above half uh, volume, I think you see that just just over half, uh, and the sound is still really very good. I can actually hear it. Uh, the build quality is excellent uh, and of course I love the fact that they added these grills with the logo uh, obviously that's from Harley Davidson uh, on their part right? but you know I think that these are all nice touches and of course the simplicity of it uh, if you were, if you have a road king, obviously you get the road king with the saddlebag attachment uh, and of course you have to change the lid, so that's, those are additional things but I think if you were an electric ride standard or a street ride you should be able to uh, do what I did uh, replace the original speakers if you're on street glide uh, otherwise just put in the speakers for the electric glide standard uh, and the amplifier goes in the fairing so, well anyway this is just basically my overview and my review uh, and a little ride out uh, I do hope that you enjoyed this video uh, if you're here for the first time please don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to hit the subscribe button and of course hit the notification bell to let you know when my next video is up. Thank you very much for watching this. Uh, if you're interested, you can leave me uh, leave some comments below uh, and let me know uh, what you think. And also, if you want to know a little bit more about the Rockford Force Gate Kit for either the Road King or Electroglide Standard, uh, obviously you all know that I work uh, in the dealership. Anyway, once again, thank you very much and you all have a safe ride.